Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. So today myself and Kevin of the Cobb are going to do the Connor Pass. The plan is to go up through the pass once in one kind of clean run and then back down through it and we'll stop lots and take pictures and um, the only information that you need to know on the Connor Pass is it is Ireland's highest tarmac mountain pass road that's that's about it I think it's like 1500 feet so it's gonna look good that's that's the main thing it's gonna look good so you can see there you know max weight 1.8 meters and stuff and max hit weight two tons basically don't bring a car come on a bike the Connor Pass is not the right place for a car it's very narrow um, and you know the views are probably well worth coming in a car as well but cars are just going to hold everyone up because cars suck in these type of roads so let's be let's be honest about it they're really you know they're not made for something like the Connor Pass you know what I mean they're just not so hopefully they don't hold uh, hold me up too much because you're inevitably going to run into some cars there's just nothing you can do about it so hopefully by now you've seen my camping video um, where I would have talked about this you probably would have seen us come into Dingle so we just left Dingle and now we're coming up here the last time I was up here the road surface was still pretty good so hopefully it stays pretty good and hopefully it doesn't lash rain on me if it does it does though it doesn't really matter so this is kind of the start of the pass no buses no heavy vehicles no wide vehicles The road surface is actually really good compared to some of the passes in Kerry, like the Dunlow Gap. I mean, I love mountain passes. I do, but I still think, like the Connor Pass is unreal, right? This, which is this one, if you've missed that bit of me talking. But I think the Healy Pass for me is just that bit cooler. Like it's, the Healy Pass is short. You know, you can go up and down it all day. There you go, there's the money shot. Money shot. And this is where it gets really narrow. So I would not be fond of doing this bit in a car at all. Hopefully I cleared most of the traffic there. But just look at this, this is, this is like it's a road carved into the side of a bloody mountain for God's sake. If this doesn't evoke some form of emotional response in you, you're probably dead inside and no one can help you. Especially not me, because I'm like I live for this. This is this is this is unreal. Look at that. Look at just look at that. Absolutely. Stunning. Just wow. Don't need to go fast along here at all because why would you? It's just very, very, very cool. Oh. But if you have any interest, so the Connor Pass um, runs from Dingle out to wherever we're going, I actually can't remember. Um, you can come back again, so like, I'm not sure, oh that's a lot, oh that's a lot of wet. I'm not sure um, what sort of hiking trails are here, but you can, you can hike here, I know that for certain, but I'm not sure where the kind of approved trails are. So just mind yourself if you're doing it. That's a cool waterfall. Hopefully none of them fall in. Also, I'd just like to say um, a huge thank you to everyone who's subscribed recently because I've kind of jumped. Now, 
when this video comes out this is going to be like two weeks ago so everyone could have unsubscribed by then i don't know but if you haven't unsubscribed wow try not to fall off the bike while looking at these if you if you've subscribed and you've stuck around thank you very much and there's been a few people who said some some nice things about my content recently which is very nice as well so thank you and honestly i know this is probably going to sound false and if it does come off as false or smack of me lying then i do apologize but it's true so you know how, however big this goes that's that's cool you know but i'm only doing this because i love it um, i love bikes i love riding around the place and pretty much i just decided to share some of what i'm doing with people so you know whether whether that turns into something that i can do as part of a job or not that's a lot of wet as well we shall see that's very wet don't like water on the road like that obviously obviously right if if something came up it's like you know that i could be a, a motorcycling journalist or something like that now i don't think i am well spoken enough for that slash well written enough well written enough slash good old right -o. I I can't really write or word well you know that'd be awesome so if something ever like that came about but whether it does or doesn't you know I'm not kind of I'm not pushed you know what I mean if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't mainly what I really want to do is keep reviewing bikes that's something I really enjoy and also bike gear and bike parts so if you are a a bike gear slash bike parts company you want me to review anything you know let me know however I will be very honest about it so if you don't want if you're concerned about your product and don't want an honest review don't ask me to do it I think I'm gonna pull in and turn around oh it's gotten really cold all of a shot <sighs> Kev is lucky he has heated he has a heated seat and he has heated grips. So me and me and Kev are heading back up the pass now, up to the viewpoint. As the weather looks like it's turning as well. And now we're back this into the Connor Pass proper. Uh, if you'd like to see anything else in this type of video, like I'll be off the bike in a minute and walk around and have a look at a look at the Connor Pass. But if there is anything legitimately that you'd like to see, um, let me know. Because I think, I, I feel as if I do a nice mix of things between maintenance reviews, spins, exploration videos of my own, you know, stuff like that. Oh, look at that. Unbelievable view. Is that rubbish? Oh. That is rubbish. It's a map. It's still rubbish. That was a nice bump right in the corner. I'm going to stop here for a moment. This is one of the viewpoints. There's also another one up the very top. We'll go to both. But this one has a waterfall and people scrambling down. Or, oh, I've been on the bike a long time. My bum is numb. So, this is one of the viewpoints of the Connor Pass. I don't think I really need to explain with words why you should come here and have a look. Being honest, I think it's it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to leave my visor closed because the wind is strong enough. And there you go. Slow pan. So, I'm going to take some pictures here and continue on after the pictures up to the next viewpoint and i'll talk to you then so <laughs> we stopped there for like five minutes and that's how fast the weather up here changes it is now pretty bad rain wise it's really cool though you know you could see it coming in i have pictures i'll throw them up now we could see the rain cloud coming towards us and you know I was trying to hold on as long as possible to try get pictures of it because we were going to get hit anyway there's no avoiding that you know you can <laughs> see it that fog that's rain that's pure rain 
and it was lovely and bright when we came up here not 10 minutes ago so we probably won't stop at the next viewpoint because I can't take pictures in the wet anyway what a view though <laughs> it's, it's mad you know you're going into the rain you just see it coming at you you're like oh god damn it <laughs> there is nothing I can do to avoid this whatsoever I'm getting hit by it and that's it oh god I just, I just love rain so much and I also love being stuck behind a washing machine car I say washing machine car because it's about as useful as one on the road I, I don't know why you'd buy one of those Ha! <laughs> that worked out well for me! <laughs> oh god, the rain is everywhere! Uh, so yeah, there's the top view of uh, the Connor Pass. I am not opening my visor. Not a hope. Because <laughs> it's very rainy. Interesting, ice cream. Yeah, don't think you're selling much of that, but but anyway, there is the Connor Pass in all its magnificence. A bit wet at the moment, but sure look, can't do anything about that. You can see down there there's lots of little stone walls. I'll try to come up here again tomorrow and take some pictures, but it's unlikely today because it's just raining too much. <laughs> so you can pause the video there, have a read of it if you like, some interesting stuff. And there you see, it's clearing up already. You can, I don't know if the camera picked it up, but you can see the rain. Just moving away in a sheet. Bloody awesome. We're going to bust on down and try to set up our camp. So we can have a rest. What lovely weather though, huh? Oh, it looks like we're riding into more rain. <laughs> it's always... Unpleasant, you can see that sort of moving across the landscape towards you. It's like there is there is nothing you can do about it. Well, other than try hide, but you can't really hide when you're on a bike anyway. And that's the view back into Dingle. Unfortunately it's not clear. Hopefully I got some decent footage anyway. But yeah, that's the Connor Pass, so I hope you enjoy the video. It's I, re I really do. Because I wanted to come up here for ages. Um, I'm definitely going to come back here next summer when the weather is better because I think I think I think I spent too long this year you know waiting for the weather to turn good and it just never really did really we just kind of we just had kind of crap weather all year <laughs> there's nothing you can do about that though uh, and all I would say is you know don't let that stop you get yourself some good gear get out on your bike you won't regret it like we're still having fun today we're, we're damp yeah certainly and we're cold, we're still having fun. And we'll still have fun when we camp. Even if we are wetter and colder than we are now. Although, to be honest, that's unlikely, I'm pretty cold. And if you're not the type to want to camp, you know, don't be afraid to book a hotel or something. You still, still bring your bike. See the little headland out there, the little big stone, you can see all the water hitting it, it's really cool. So now we're coming into Dingle, straight ahead. That was the Connor Pass, some total up and down. I don't know how long this video will be, but I, I kind of, for a while, I was focusing on making my videos, you know, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, you know, I didn't want to be, I suppose, putting too long a video on, 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 on people. And I was putting a lot of pressure on myself to do that and spend a lot of time in it, just because of a, a comment from, from a friend, like, he didn't mean it in a bad way, but, you know, he, he made a comment sort of like, ah, that's 15 minutes of my time you're asking for to watch that. But I wasn't asking, I was just saying, did you see it, you know, it's a question. Um, so I, uh, for a while then I tried to keep them down under 10, but my longer videos, or not even my longer videos, but the videos that I, I, I don't try to chop out stuff that I consider to be entertaining and funny, uh, just for the sake of getting the video down time-wise, I think I'm just going to leave that stuff in again, because it, it's easier for me and other people seem to enjoy it, you know, that's actually where I'm getting comments more recently is the stuff that I'm leaving in, so, <laughs> you know, you tell me. Anyway that's the video we're gonna to head to uh, a shopping market now to try to get some 
some cans for the campsite and some food. If you've enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching it. Don't forget to hit the like, the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see more of my stuff. The bell actually, it turns out, is quite important, so uh, please, you know, think about doing that. Um, yeah, but if you've enjoyed it, thanks for watching. Do all the rest of the stuff I said, and we're going to Super Value, so thanks for watching. Adios. This way?